Welcome to a new Selfish OS podcast and this time around it's all about a camera comparison test between the Sony Xperia 10 versus the Sony Xperia XA2. Uh, both of these phones are running Selfish OS in the latest version 3.1. This is an alpha version, this is a final released version for the XA2, so keep that in mind. First of all, let's start with the specs. The XA2. The XA2 has a camera with 23 megapixels. You can use 20 megapixels on this one in 16.9 aspect ratio. It has an f2.0 aperture, 24 millimeters wide angle and an 1 over 2.3 inch uh, sensor inside and also features um, uh, features face detection autofocus. So this is the Xperia XA2. On the front you can see it has an 8 megapixel um, f 2.4 aperture 1 over 4 inch uh, sensor. Now let's see what the Xperia X has. The Xperia X device has two cameras on the back, but you can only use one um, camera on SafeJS currently. It has a 12 megapixel 1.8 aperture, uh, f1.8, 720, uh, 27 millimeters wide angle, and uh, 1 over 2.8 inches um, sensor. So the sensor is a bit smaller, but it also features. Uh, less megapixels, so the pixel size in comparison to the XA2 is bigger uh, with 1.25 uh, micro, uh, micron meters and it has also a um, uh, face detection autofocus. And on the front it also features an 8 megapixel f2.0 24mm wide angle camera. I think the XA2 has a little bit wider angle camera but I'm not sure what also 1 over 4 inch um, sensor inside. So these are the specs and in comparison when you look at the data one thing that's clear is that the XA2 should have higher resolution and this should have less resolution but thanks to a larger aperture and a little bit bigger pixels per inch. This should have better low light capability. And yeah, let's take a look at the pictures that I took with both of those phones to see which one is better. So let's take a look at the various different pictures. On the left I have the Xperia 10 Plus and on the right I have the XA2. So first of all, a um, picture in low light conditions where you can see, clearly see the difference in uh, pixel size per inch on the sensor itself and the bigger aperture. As you can see here, same scenery, just as you can see on the left, it has its highest resolution, 12 megapixel in a 4.3 aspect ratio, and the Xperia XA2 has its highest resolution, 20 megapixels in the 16 by 9 aspect ratio. So this is the major difference you can see here. But what you can see here clearly without zooming in, because uh, literally you don't want to zoom in in this uh, dim light situation, because you can see ooh, all of noise here. But if you can see here, there's basically literally almost nothing to see, a little bit in the shadows maybe, so it's very very dark. What is the accurate image now looking like in a dark environment? It's not close to the um, either of those, so uh, it's um, a little bit darker than what the Xperia 10 shot and a little bit, yeah, a lot uh, brighter than the uh, XA2 shot. But here you can see the major difference in the pixel size per inch on the sensor itself and of course the aperture itself. This is not everything when you can see here portrait pictures. Um, also in a dim lit situation only a little bit of light and what you can see here is that you have a lot more uh, noise on the picture on the XA2 as you can see here so color noise fringing in but you can see it's a little bit sharper here, the Patriot Day is readable here. It seems like the algorithm for denoising is active and uh, you have less color fringing noise, but you can see the sharpness is a little bit missing here. 
and of course you can see the difference in, in uh, megapixels here, 12 megapixels here, uh, clearly 20 megapixels. Uh, let's go and take a look at the outside shot. Uh, not a sunny day as you can see here, a bit of cloudy day, but still I think a great comparison nevertheless. So let's go and take a look at the middle first. And you can see here street name is readable here. You can see street name, mwah, not so much readable. Let's zoom in a little bit more. You can see here the difference. Here it is like mm, completely unsharp, um, uh, like some kind of smooth fritter on top. And here it seems like it tries to sharpen, uh, sharpen the stuff a little bit. So it is a little bit sharper in general, but it's also trying to software sharp here. And you can read maybe a little bit of the street name, but not much. Uh, it's, I think, more, you can see it here, also on the left side, where you can see the letters here. And compared to the Xperia 10, you can see it's much sharper. And um, this is in all of the images that, especially when it comes to the uh, left and right sides, where camera, phones or smartphones in general have issues when it comes to sharpness uh, you can see a clear difference a clear winner with the xperia 10 uh, device also you can see uh, the cars are a lot sharper people running around uh, when it comes to uh, reading the license plate this is also a little bit smoother here so it's not as sharp as here um, you can see this clearly as well again and here as well you can see the taxi symbol taxi symbol and here the taxi symbol in comparison when it comes to low light here's another picture that shows how dramatically improved the low light capabilities of the xperia 10 plus device is as you can see here this is the dimly situation again and this managed to pull out so you can see the color of this uh, router here and here you can not see the color you can only see the uh, lights the led lights of the router but you can see here of course color fringing noise um, for this dark lit situation it's clear that there has to be some noise then some interesting focus test here um, I focused with both devices, the XA2 and the Xperia 10 Plus on this car, but you can see here <laughs> this car is completely not sharp. Here it is sharp on the XA2. Let's zoom out a little bit to have the same kind of field of view. Uh, and yeah, here it's sharp, here it is not sharp. What it is, what is sharp is this little guy. So maybe I did a mistake when uh, when uh, pulling the focus because uh, you can clearly see that uh, this is not sharp this is sharp this is really sharp as you can see here and um, in general i didn't have any problems when it comes to focusing with the xperia 10 device so this might be just a slightly glitch here when it comes to white balance you can see this one is a lot brighter than this one um, but uh, this might have something to do with uh, me focusing on the wrong thing but uh, <laughs> because maybe I focused on this one and this has more darker colors this has more brighter colors this, uh, this has more lighter colors this has more darker colors so this needs to be the exposure goes maybe up when I focus on this so this might be a mistake in my on my end let's see color noise again uh, this is not so much um, dark picture I would say this is a daylight picture uh, of course inside taking inside here you can see the different uh, field of view as well with the 16 by 9 aspect ratio and the 4 by 3 aspect ratio both I think both phones do a good job I would say but you can see here, if I zoom in on the main subject, you can see, yeah, it's sharp and you can see here, it's a little bit, the highlights are overblown a bit. Um, and if you go up here, you can see it's getting unsharp and you can see a little bit of uh, yeah, noise going on. But if you go here up, you can see it's a lot sharper 
but there's a lot of color noise going on so this look looks a bit more natural this looks a little bit yeah um, a little bit strange with the color noise going in. Mm. What's the difference here? Why is it unsharper here sharper? This has something to do with the aperture because the standard, the default aperture of the um, Xperia 10 Plus device is a little lot uh, more open and this is a lot more closed. So this is really here you can see the difference uh, what this makes as well when it comes to sharpening. So the main subject itself is very sharp on both. There's no big problem. I would say even get when it comes to sharpness I would uh, give the Xperia 10 Plus a slight edge as you can see here especially on these on the color um, of uh, Spike here from Cowboy Bebop by the way. Um, then if you go here you can see also color uh, the not color the, the, the noise and the same you can see here and yeah here it looks uh, more like color noise here it looks more like um, grain film grain noise I would say so let's take a look at the next picture also interesting to see uh, white balance uh, now also inside daylight creeping in what you can see here is a different white balance you can see here this is sharp this is as well sharp but it has slightly different um, uh, you can see that this is here the red and this is more dark red so it has a different kind of uh, white balance here this is the wall and here this is the wall and I have to give the point to the Xperia 10 plus because it's uh, the white balance is correct here and the colors are more correct more popping as well and here it looks a little bit dull I have to say uh, the next picture the next scene I focused on the remote control in this picture and what you can see here is uh, both doing a good and fine job when it comes to sharpness zoom out a little bit so we have the same kind of field of view uh, both did a good job in terms of sharpness I would say there is a difference against you can see here I focused on this uh, round um, a joystick or uh, for action control and you can see both doing a good job here it looks like it's a bit getting unsharp here the home and the send button here it looks a bit more sharp you can see different white um, balance again this is a little bit more brighter here and this color is wrong simply this color is more accurate but still not uh, as good as the original and uh, yeah what you can see here is slightly sharper this is slightly more blurred I think it has also to do something with the um, aperture again because I was focusing on something specific and you can see the sharpness difference also on the pen here you can see the uh, writing here is a lot sharper than here yeah white balance uh, again I would give the point to the uh, 10 plus but in terms of sharpness on this um, images I would say the XA2 has a slight edge so next images also dim lit situation a little bit of light going in you can see also here this is not really sharp but this is also not very sharp and if you compare them side by side let's go to the right distance approximately like this um, you can you can see clearly color fringing color noise going in here and you don't see this problem on the um, 10 plus so much also I think I would give this also the edge here to the 10 plus uh, for the overall image uh, as you can see here it's a little bit brighter the white balance is better I would say uh, you can see here the whites are a little bit dull and here it's a little bit more whiter so in general you can see the 10 plus has um, a lead when it comes to this now this keyboard here let's take a look again at noise sharpness and white balance you can see I was focusing on the Yamaha logo here Yamaha logo in both pictures uh, fully uh, sh in focus 
but what you can see here is color noise again and what you can see here is there's also noise you can clearly see the noise but it uh, is trying to compensate f uh, the noise and here the color noise and the interesting thing is I think the focus mm, slightly did not hit here because you can see here when I go to the right and the voices uh, it's a lot sharper and more readable on the 10 plus in comparison to the XA2 and this is a general problem problem I have with the XA2 uh, if you hit the uh, the focus point it's good sometimes but um, usually you have this color noise fringing in very very early so uh, like if you don't have a very sunny day if you have a cloudy day and you want to crop in just a little bit a tiny bit or want to watch uh, the images in 100% view you can see the color noise going in which is pretty bad on the um, 10 plus there is noise yes because the sensor is so small but I think it is way better uh, when doing normal shots and also the white balance you can see here clearly it's overexposing the keyboard uh, keys so this is just overblown white and here you can see you can see the uh, keys separate keys here. And here you can see it's just very thin line maybe. So white balance also point for the 10 plus. When it comes to taking uh, selfies not with the selfie cam but <laughs> with the main cam in uh, backlit situations both cameras basically are struggling because they are trying to here you can see it clearly trying to uh, yeah trying to have a balanced uh, kind of uh, white balance uh, they don't want to overblow the, the the highlights in the background but this means yeah I'm mostly in the dark here I'm also in the dark a little bit but you can see me a little bit better I would say um, so both doing a bad job when it comes to backlit situations with the main camera if you have uh, a normal situation where the light comes from the front you can clearly see both doing a better job here and uh, you can see a different uh, field of view again the Xperia XA2 being uh, a bit wider with 24 millimeters and 27 millimeters on the uh, X, uh, Xperia 10 plus and when it comes to sharpness I think we have a clear winner here. The XA2 is uh, yeah, mind blown unsharp and the Xperia 10 Plus hits the target. And this is with auto mode, so I didn't choose the, uh, uh, choose the autofocus point um, or the focus point, I just hit the shutter while the camera was, uh, the, the smartphone was uh, turned around. And this is why you can see my hand here <laughs> as well on both images. Uh, when it comes to noise, you can see again noise creeping in here and uh, it's bad here. Not so bad, there is still noise, you can see it if you really take a look at it, but it's just like a day and night difference when it comes to this. Uh, when it comes to the selfie cam itself, well, let's take a look at the selfie cam, both 8 megapixels, uh, kind of different kind of uh, view again, view field, as you can see here and uh, a little bit wider on the Xperia XA2 again and when it comes to sharpness you can see yeah, it got me in focus somehow because it's a fixed focus so it should be no problem here it also got me in fixed uh, focus and you can see when it comes to sharpness again look at the eyebrows a lot sharper on the here you can see even see a little I didn't notice that <laughs> so my eye has a little uh, broken uh, uh, vena how's it called here it's a little red dot here it's not very visible it's the same photo basically and yeah uh, when it comes to noise again here you have noise here you have more noise you can see this is smoother uh, which is interesting to see but in general I think when you take there's no in, in the in the uh, normal view here you don't see a big difference if you zoom in a little bit and go to the details you can see that I hit the focus point I hit the focus uh, area with the uh, 10 plus a little bit better than the uh, a XA2 uh, in general I would say the XA2 
uh, and the 10 plus uh, basically have the same image quality when it comes to the front facing camera so let's take a look at macro shots here th with the 10 plus and the xa2 and you can see here this is basically a, a summary of our weather <laughs> currently in cologne you can see here if i zoom in pretty nice leaf pretty sharp as well not the uh, really the field of view the sharpness point is very very shallow and here you can see this as well but here i would give the edge also if i zoom out a little bit um, so. Uh, can, I would give the slight edge also with the colors again to the uh, 10 plus it just makes a better job here it's just clearly doing a better job when it comes to uh, having the drop in focus so this looks a lot better than this here you can see also the line not in focus this is more in focus here because it goes quickly out of focus but in general I would say the 10 plus has a better ma makes a better image here now to the last one high dynamic range test or how do they handle the backlit situation again when choosing the focus point and here you can see also overblowing uh, on the XA2 the focus point was uh, the cathedral here and you can see here this looks nice it's sharp and it's not too much noise going on here you can clearly see this poster here without any big problems and you can see even here uh, the roof is still a little bit in focus you can see it's not uh, overblowing uh, stuff uh, same focus point here you can see this is a lot um, uh, brighter than it actually should be <laughs> you can see you can uh, see more details in the shadows here it's just overblowing stuff and you can see color noise going on uh, this is overblown you can see uh, it's a slightly also overblown but this is more overblown I would say and yeah a lot more uh, color noise going on and uh, here you cannot see anything underneath in the window so this is uh, basically my comparison when it comes to both cameras when it comes to still pictures now let's take a look at how the video quality is of those two devices. So this is a test with the Sony Xperia 10 Plus device recording in full HD 30 frames per second and autofocus turned on and I had problems with the autofocus sometimes in some situations but usually it is fine and yeah this is the front lit situation if i turn around you can see a backlit situation i think my face should be now dark and uh, if i turn around again uh, you can see my face again and uh, yeah this is uh, the test of the sony xperia 10 plus and now next the xa2 same situation same recording with the back camera this time of the sony xperia xa2 and this is uh, light coming from the front and now if you turn around you can see light coming from the back probably my face again uh, dark and if i move around again you can see there's no stabilization there's no ois in both of those cameras and there is no electronic stabilization in the camera application i'm using advanced uh, camera again for recording this video and uh, yeah what do you think who's the clear winner here is the front-facing camera video recording capability of the 10 plus a lot better than of the xa2 decide for yourself do we really need a front-facing camera video test of the xa2 i don't think so so now you've seen it the sony xperia 10 versus the uh, Sony Xperia uh, XA2 and which one has the better camera I think it is clear that the XA2 has more megapixels but more megapixels does not mean the better camera and the 10 plus yeah with less megapixels even in with the sensor is a bit tiny you can see clearly improvements with the 10 plus and I think overall the 10 I tend to say the 10 plus has a better camera system so now what will happen with uh, Selfish S? Will they get the second camera going or not? I'm not sure. We will see in one of the next uh, builds for the 10 Plus or the 10 uh, for that matter. 
but I hope you enjoyed this little uh, comparison, camera comparison uh, between the XA2 and the 10 Plus. And uh, if you like, uh, you can subscribe, you can hit the thumbs up button, and thanks for watching. Until the next time, bye.